My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush What's up guys, it's Pork here and in this video today I'll be showing you guys how to record and stream PUBG Mobile. So I'll be recommending some apps that 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 is very simple to use and this is only for Android. I hope you guys enjoy this video. So if you have just downloaded Call of Duty, this will be very useful. And with these apps, you can even start a YouTube channel with these apps. So, please share, subscribe, and like. And there will be a short gameplay before the actual video. So, please stay tuned. We lost C, A, secure. Securing B, we've taken the lead. Securing C. Enemy taking Bravo. Securing Charlie. UAV recon ready for deployment. Hunter killer drone ready for deployment. We lost Bravo. Predator missile awaiting orders. C secure. Enemy taking A. So the first app I'll be recommending is Omelette Arcade. You can find this on the Play Store. This is a very useful app for both recording and streaming Call of Duty Mobile. This app works with your Gmail account. So first you have to sign up and then after you have signed, signed up. You simply click the go live button as you can see. And if you want to record normal videos, you click the plus icon that's in the middle down below. And then you click record. And then you select the game and that's it. With this app, you can also stream directly to the app alone and you can stream to youtube and i also think other platforms so it's a very good app so i recommend you to download this app so these are the settings on this app so you can choose whether you want to show an overlay in your videos with your own watermark or anything like that. So the next app I'll be recommending is DU Screen Recorder. As you can see, it's not on the Play Store. So there'll be a link in the description to this app. It's on Google Chrome. So you enter the link, download the app. It's not very big, it's 12 megabytes. 
So you simply download the app from the browser, you enter, and I'm using the app right now. So you won't see the pop up, the little pop up icon that you would normally see. So these are the settings on the app. You can choose video quality from 240p to 1080p. And you can choose the FPS and so on. So the next app I recommend is Mobizen Screen Recorder. You can choose whether you want to use clean recording mode or the standard mode. You can choose whether you want to have the pop-up of the Mobizen icon and you can choose your own watermark, the recording time, the storage pad and all. It's a very good app, but if you have a high-end phone, I don't recommend you using this app because you can get so much more of the other, so much more out of the other screen recorders on this list. So the next screen, screen recorder is Mobizen Live. This is a view of all the settings on this app. And the next app I recommend is YouTube, but I'm not eligible so I can't show you how it works. The next recording software I recommend is the the, the built-in Samsung screen recorder. You can find it in Game Launcher and when you swipe up on the navigation bar, you can click the little game icon and you can click record and you can set whether you want to record game sound your mic and you can set the quality and all those good stuffs so i recommend this 100 percent if you have a samsung phone but if you don't have a samsung phone the du screen recorder is the best for other androids but if you have a samsung this is the number one app for you. This is the app that I use to record normal videos on my channel. So the next live streaming app and screen recording app is Camera Free Live. You can find this on Play Store and it is a very good app. I, I used it in the past but now I'm not using it currently. So you can record your through your camera or you can record your screen. These are the, the platforms Facebook, Twitch and you as you can see right there you see a little REC that is to record normal videos. So there's a lot of platforms so this is a very good app and there's a large variety of settings on this app so if you have like the slower internet i recommend this app for you so that's it for this app it, it does the best that it can for a mobile app so if you have like slow internet and a lower end phone, you should download this over like Omelette Arcade and and the other live streaming apps on this list.
you can choose the latency the resolution the quality of live but you can't take off the logo the camera fee logo you have to use it you can if you want to pay a lot of money but i don't recommend you doing that when you can use omelet arcade without a watermark so this is the end of the video so please subscribe like share and comment video ideas because right now i'm out of ideas so peace out guys